Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, ideally, the university students are supposed to receive their help fund at the beginning of the semester to cover for their uh, tuition fees and upkeep. The loan is meant to cushion students studying in a public university, but they come from the low income household. Zile jamia wale zile jamia ambazo hazijiwezi kifedha ama wako na mapato ya chini. That man is meant to help such families. But as we are speaking now, we have the students in Machakos University who are now protesting over delay of help loan. Semester imeenda awajaona kitu. They have been patient for too long and now they feel that they cannot continue to be patient. It has reached a level where now it has exploded. The government has bought their patience for too long. But now they are saying we will not continue to keep quiet. They are now on the street. Reason, delay of help. And this protest is just coming a month after multimedia university students had just protested on the same. One month ago, one month ago multimedia university. Now, Machakos University. Next, we don't know. So students went to the road. They decided to block the road <laughs> in Machakos and they lit bonfire alongside the road. If you check on the photos, that is what is coming from Machakos University. They are now carrying placards asking for the Ministry of Education to intervene and let them get their help. I don't know if William Ruto government is serious about helping the poor, the needy, because you might not find those students coming from rich family on the road protesting because they have other alternatives. They have several options. So they don't have much problem. The reality is that those who are on the road today, they are those students who are in need. The Mamamboga student, the Boda Boda kid, the hustler child is the one who is on the road protesting for help. Hakuna mtoto ya tajiri pale, ni mtoto ya Mamamboga, mtoto ya Boda Boda, mtoto ya maskini mkulima wa chini na wanafunzi wale wanatoka katika jamii ambazo ziko na mapato ya chini but we are in hustler government where they say that the priority will be given to the hustlers it is going to work for the poor instead the opposite is happening this government is only working for the rich because rich are yet to be touched. I don't know. But people who I'm seeing every time on the road complaining and protesting they are poor people. That's why you can be a can you mamboga? Niki naya sana kwa mwesima William Ruto kwanza kujilinga nisha ama kujifaranisha kufaranisha serikali yake na muhuduma wa boda boda. Niki naya. And this is the sad story of this country. <laughs> As we continue on this panel discussion, just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, it is my humble request, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. And by the way, by giving a thumbs up, that's another way you are supporting this channel. You can give a thumbs up. You can share our video to other platforms. In that way, 
you are helping us to reach more people and spread this gospel. <laughs> Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Just look at that and uh, the reality of what the CS for Education, Machogu told university students at one point, is coming to happen. But it's coming slowly, slowly. At one point, he said that there will be no help. It will be for specific individuals, selected people, but not everyone will get it. In their own word, they said that uh, it is going to focus on poor families and poor students. One, they said that, and I said that, finally, the poor have been strangled. They have no space to breathe. They have nowhere to hide. This was an end to the child of a poor who was being, you know, the only way to equalize the poor and the rich is through education. Once you educate a child from a poor family, you are opening their doors. In that way, this kid will have a space to hustle and compete favorably. But mambo ya kusema selective, unasema unatakuwa shugulike maskin, it will end up in the hands of the rich because they even have the ability to bribe and have a chance to be selected. Unapena tu bribe pale, kama unataka ulipe kitu pale, wanakupea help. Maskini abaki, because it is even happening in high school. Unapata watu wanalipa kitu pale, ndo mtu yaka apate, you know. But we have poor of the poorest people in this country who need help. So, the other time, we were told that now, students, high school teachers, have been forced to increase school fees by 5,000 and some hundreds. Because the government is not now helping as much as needed. Mutu wa day school alikuwa nalipa tucha kula kuisha. Saizi lazima atafute pesa elifutano alipa school fees. Kuongeza kwa hile enye. Kwa sababu isi lakali. It is not focusing to help the poor. There is no any students from a rich family who is going to a day school. Unless if it is just the wish of the parents. But majority wako kwa boarding and in a very nice schools. Middle class, how again? That's where we are now. But in the last year, Chule and Yamaya Manafunzi, Amanda, a day school, ni wale maskini kabisa. So that's the only chance. And there was a reason why we have day schools. Nakin wa tanda kulipa school fees. We are talking about 15 years of free education, or let us say subsidized education. Now going back to Mahadi Ambapo Masomo inikuwa inanipiwa. So highest, uh, university students have to come out in their numbers and protest, reject what they are being subjected to. Let them ask for their share. They must speak their mind through protest. They have to come out in their numbers. And in Afar, what to work with Barabara like all schools, let them speak to this government because they are too much hard to listen. Otherwise, the more they keep quiet, the more they give them a chance. Because they're just testing the water. How deep is the water? Tuki wanyima, tuki delay, he help. How will they react if we delay the help? Wanaangalia pole pole. What if tupunguze? Wanaangalia. What if tutoe? So they're just testing the water. And you must show them the water is too deep. But once you don't fight for your space, then even those who are upcoming are going to face big problems because even there was no one to fight for them. So when you are fighting, when you are on the road, you are also speaking for the upcoming ones. The sad reality is here with us. The government is not for the poor. It is for the rich. If it was for the poor, then the university students would not be on the road protesting because of delay of the help loan. 
Ada si pesa ya bure. Itaanza kulipwa na njia nyingine ukishapata kazi. But what is happening? They don't care. And they are busy on the sunroof of their vehicles campaigning in the name of launching projects. There's no way we'll have a president who is on top of vehicle every day then you expect the country economy to grow. You expect everything to work. You expect that there will be no noise. This is now the reality and the result of such kind of a president. You can see it very clear. We are heading to a wrong direction and when you have a country where its own students are not well educated then this is a country that is going to fall into abject poverty. You are not eliminating nini ujinga sasa saa hizi na walisema ya kwamba wakati watu walipata independent mambo ya kuangalia ilikuwa kutoa ujinga maskini sasa hiyo ujinga inatolewa na njia gani We are in a mess. Another story from Machakos University. 